Howdy folks, we got a brand new kit from Airfix, just been released, finally, after all these years, we finally got another, another Vulcan 170 second scale, B2, much much superior kit than the old version, check out the videos that I've recently done on the old version and the comparison videos of old versus new, but then we're going to take a look at the new version on its own, much bigger box, I don't know if you noticed, Two options with this one, camouflage, blue steel, bombs, we get the white option as well, which is a good camouflage, but I prefer the, the camo scheme than the white version. Kit number is A120011, uh, pretty cool, pretty standard airfix, nothing on the back. There's the two options and the years and history, a tiny bit of history and squadrons and stuff. Standard paints, we don't use their crap paint. We're going to be using Tamir and probably other stuff. So let's take a look what we get inside the box. Okay, it's a much bigger box than the older version, but let's see what we get inside. You can see it's stuffed with plastic, and what I do like is it's bagged individually. Clear screws, very reminiscent of their. Um, bell cap, we've done individual bags, some of their newer kits are all coming in new bags. Their tanks are coming in separate bags, so hopefully we can uh, see more kits in the future all coming separately bagged. Um, and they finally listened that we wanted separate bags, we've been saying for years. So let's take a look what we get in instructions. New instructions. I love their new instructions, more simple and colours to go along. Here's some decals, we'll take a look at it in a minute. And there's colour call outs. So, first step history in languages, as standard, and safety. So, safe, safety symbols, pretty standard, times two, drilling, filing, nose weight, etc. Red segments. As you can see, is your previous step. So, first step is cockpit floor and side walls, which is here in grey steel, and and uh, which is the red bit. Sorry, uh, this bit is red. Sorry, and then turn it upside down and put an instrument panel in, which you see here is in red, which was that step. So you can see each step as you go along. Red is your previous step. So once the instrument panel is being put in, we have pedals, which was in red now. Bulkhead, which is in red, instrument panel, main, main dash and stuff, decal going in, and flight sticks, seats, two halves, even seat belts going in. Again, you're not going to see any of that, but it's nice that they give you it within the kit. Still working on the cockpit, putting the seats in, instrument panel, more side consoles, and decals. Nicely done. Board and ladder, open or closed option. But this board ladder here is to get up into the copy anyway and there is a separate one that comes down three more seats at the back i believe these guys are radio operators and stuff like that we have this new section that you don't see in the old version which is this two piece here which is a cone which which your nose weight sits into they ask you for 40 grams i believe in the old version they asked for 30 Bear in mind this new version has a hell of a lot more parts, it's going to be slightly heavier. So 40 grams in the nose, but again, in the past I've put nose weight in aircraft, like they've said, and it hasn't been enough. So if in doubt, double it or fill it up as much as you can. Nose cone going on, and then you've got your two outer skins of the nose. Having the uh, door open or closed, closed option, don't forget to cut the tabs off. 
can be going in at this stage. Easy to mask up because there's only four windows, but all of the top bit, all around the edge, is part of the uh, structural part, which should be painted anyway. There is a tiny decal on the inside. Again, you're never going to see it, but it's nice to give you it. There is two nose, nose noses, right on the front, two slight differences. This is the landing gear nose well. Yeah. Nope, sorry, that's not landing gear nose well, that's the uh, hatch for the pilots to get into. Wing spar, old version doesn't have this, but this is nice, you get this with the new version. This is for the blue steel, if you're going to have the blue steel. This green segment is the part you need to cut out and file for the blue steel to sit into. But if not, just leave it as is. This is rib section is, is going to make up for the Bombay and structural parts for the Bombay. Wing spar, this is your previous step from here. Individual ribs for the Bombay. Which is all of here. Add in more structural parts to make up this triangle, left and right. As for the wings itself, prepping them for certain steps. This is in flight. This is the blue steel option. If you're going to have blue steel, don't forget to remove the green segments. Landing gear doors closed for in flight. A couple of drill holes for pitot tubes and stuff. This section here is for the bulge. The blue steel, this is in flight with the Bombay closed. This section here with the blue steel and this giant triangle piece that you built up previously is your Bombay section. You still have to add that if you've got door closed or blue steel because it all counts as structural. This is the Bombay closed option in flight. This is Bombay section open now and touching the wings. This section here is in flight option with the uh, landing gear closed but again you're still going to have to build this up for if you want it open because it's structural. So landing gear comes as four pieces and an upper and some wing, not wing spars but they're like, I think they're the actuators for the wick for the doors. You're going to have to add those because you're going to see them if you've got the doors open left and right. Engine sections. Here you have a template to cut out for the leading edge of your intakes. Left and right, repeating the process which is pretty standard. You have the intake turbines and splitter, two halves as standard. This is one piece I did not notice, I didn't know they had this in the kit. If you have the aircraft on the ground, these funny pieces here, H04 and H08 are fog covers which is nice touch I didn't know you get that within the kit mm. intakes going in left and right a couple of clear pieces two halves of the wings going together which is a nicer fit than the older version because the old version was just a weird looking spine and the wings got attached to that which can always be troublesome at the leading edge going down here was the fit could always have a slight issue with the old version but this is a nice fit you see these tabs and they lock in like this Okay, attaching the two wing halves together as standard. Now we're attaching the front nose together. Can be probably a little bit troublesome, but hopefully it's not. Again, it's a case of dry fit, dry fit, dry fit all the time to get everything lined up. These leading edges is going to hide up a little bit of a seam. Hopefully they go in nicely. The rear tail going in as standard. Now we have engine uh, assembly, we should be left and right. This funny looking piece with the two circles, do not glue because it is a jig to hold the engines in place so they don't go out of whack or sink. More turbines and stuff going in, pretty standard. 
This is the repeating process. And we have structural parts and flaps and detail parts on the bottom. We have the tail, two halves, the tip, the flaps, or the aileron, or the fin even. 30 degree angle, left and right, pretty standard. Now we have all the flaps, two halves. We have a 10 degree up and 22 degree down, both sides. These leading edge flaps as well. 12.5 up and 27 degree down. And we have the end tips. Landing gear segments. Pretty standard stuff, two halves, and then we have the actual support beams, eight wheels per side, hell of a lot of wheels on the Vulcan, but they are small wheels, but there's a lot of them, left and right wheel assembly, front nose wheel, again, pretty standard, and two wheels at the front, this is a nice touch, instead of having the blue steel, you can have the bombs option had a lot of bombs and this is the bomb the bomb doors bomb doors open previous step was the bomb door closed and if you're having it closed you've got no need to attach these blue steel option two halves leading edge uh like canards i think they might be um stabilizing blue steel going in Boarding ladder it is an optional open or closed air brakes open or closed pitot tubes pretty sad stuff it's a ready to build model as for the um, marking options we have uh, camouflage all option all over RF green RF dark sea grey and the white underside pretty standard or you got the RF or white version from 1963 stencil data love it or hate it marking options We have the faded version, which is for the white, and then we have the uh, one for the camouflage. Nicely done. These are done by Kylograph. Nice and crisp and clean. I believe they're some of the best decals in the world. I have no issues with Kylograph. Michael Sowell's set should do it nicely. And as for the kit, first bag, wings. Take you out again. We have wings, lower wing section, massive aircraft. And the good thing of this, unlike the old version, is all recessed. Lovely recessed panel lining. Different plastic, it's more smoother, it's more thicker. And I like the detail. There's no rivets, but I don't think you need it for this girl. But it's much superior than the old version. So it's nicely done. Upper wing section. Again, two giant wings. And the spine is done. These tabs is for the locking mechanism, for it to lock together nicely. Air brakes going in here. Again. Superb rivet detail, uh, panel line, sorry. Um, and the raised parts are for the vortex. It'd be impressive model, I just thought. Again, all nicely bagged separately. Still check your bags just in case you've got loose parts. But this section here is your wings and all your flaps. Nicely done. 
and these leading edge really thin pieces but again the detail for the wings uh sorry leading edge flaps Focus. Much bigger sprue this time. Engine intakes, wing spa, which has numbers where your, where your engine is going to go. Uh, blue steel housing, wing uh, Bombay uh, ribs, more wing spa. This is more wing spa. This is more ribs. This is all internal detail. Nicely done. So here's the as for the ribs. And here is detail. Blue steel housing, turbines, and wings bar, engine nacelles and intakes. So it's nicely done. We have this large sprue which consists of two separate sprues um, so here we have the, the nose uh, firewalls this is the nose for the nose weight this is the side firewall this is the two type of noses bottom part for the hatch this is the cockpit floor and this is the rest of the cockpit you have noticed that this section here basically is what you need to work on this is what you need to work on I, I don't know if you noticed that this is how they started to do this as well, so it makes it easier instead of hunting around for parts. Copy floor, pretty, pretty good, really good actually. There's that piece for the uh, hatch, two top of noses. Pito tubes, I didn't even realise there's two types, just in case you break one maybe. Boarding ladder, jetter seats, or seats in general, with a little bit of uh, seat belt in. There's the rest of those seats for the other crew members. Bulkheads. This is that giant nose. This is that nose assembly comes too hard for your weight. I believe it was about 40 grams. On this side is the Bombay close and open options. And then tons and tons of bombs. I'm not sure what weight the bombs were. I think they might be either 500 or 1,000 pound bombs a piece. If anyone knows, leave it down in the comments below. This sprue here again is two separate sprues, but it's generally this is all the landing gear and stuff, and this is all to do with your engines. So this is all everything landing gear, and then all your wheels. Landing gear, board and ladder. Again, nicely done. Landing gear. These are for all for your engines. These are the jigs to house the engines in place. And here's the uh, rear wing, uh, rear tail. And here is your blue steel 
you do get another housing for the blue steel to sit into and the blue steel itself and then there's the little canards and looks like the back of the blue steel really cool and this tiny sprue here is air brake assembly Pito tubes and these are the fog covers for the intakes which I didn't realise was in the kit and I didn't realise what they were until now until now and last not the least is the clear nicely done so there you are my friends there's another kit from FX a brand new tool 172nd scale Avro Vulcan B2 absolute lovely kit hopefully it goes together nicely um, like comment subscribe and I'll catch you later